With us now is Laura Mastriano, and we're going to be talking about cooks, books, and corks. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Donna. You're welcome. Such a serious intro. I know we usually don't oh do it gosh. serious like that. Laura, what are we doing here today? We are cooking up a lot of fun today on Tuesday, September 24th. It is TBR News Media's second annual Cooks, Books, and Corks event. And ah, hence the cook book and cork. Absolutely, so much fun. Ready for it. So on this lovely day, we are going to have an appetizing evening with different cooks and sh um, chefs and caterers, different restaurants, different authors, um, doing meet and greets, selling their books, and um, all for a wonderful cause. Yeah, something about a scholarship, right? What, what's being happening there? So, a journalism scholarship. Yeah, so um, a student who is a School of Journalism student at the um, University of Stony Brook will be um, receiving um, an internship scholarship um, with the paper. And it's a really lovely um, way to give back and also to help keep journalism alive. And, it's very important. And it's, it's a really great cause. So part of my um, big thing is helping them to really get the word out, to help um, get everybody to come and really support the event. And so I get to put some fun little spins on it, which I know you love to do. Absolutely. And I actually hear um, the van backing up because they're going to be bringing some more books in. So <laughs> if we don't have enough books, they're bringing in more. We, so, we could use them all, yes, of we can. course. <laughs> so it's, it's really a lot of fun, um, this theme. And whether or not you're attending this event or having something on your own, I mean, you can have a wine tasting party. You can have um, a book club party, and there's really lots of fun things that you can do to really just make a decoration that you can take off of your shelves, literally. Okay. So you can use wine bottles and, of course, the grapes, and you can fill up um, your wine glasses with chocolates or even those leftover corks, and you don't know what to use them for. Save oh. them for decorations. Stack that up your nice. books, put the grapes on it, different accents. Um, and using your corks for different decorations. Like I have metal letters that are in the front and I just um, fill them up with the different corks to spell out CBC for cooks, books and corks naturally. Um, but it, again, it's a lot of fun. It's just the decorating with the food and the things that are in existence in your own kitchen, in your pantry, in your home. Your, um, now, is home. that basil from your kitchen? Basil, not from my kitchen. Okay. However, a very simple, fun decoration that really can be used anywhere. And it kind of goes very nicely because I'm sure the cooks are going to be using that great ingredient. Um, we also have some fun photo props. And of course, your favorite thing, my cheesy friend. Yes, I do. <laughs> cheese It's my favorite food group. Well, that hot pretzels. Is hot pretzel in a food group? I don't know, but cheese is. I, I so, will but, say it is. Okay, so it's, there you go. So a Swedish fish. Yes. That's a whole And pecans thing. are my favorite. And you have yes. candy pecans. Candy so pecans. So goodies. again, it's really just a matter of what the chefs are going to put out. But I was thinking wine, cheese, you know, it's a, a nice little assortment. And then branding everything. So Chacoudere. Sorry. Okay. Branding very everything. fancy. She's <laughs> like over the top. And then just using different, um, I know Tony, I'm sorry, I'm moving closer to my friend Donna here, but we have um, different cooking utensils. So we have a whisk and we have little spatulas all inside of our flower arrangement. Very simple and easy. And then even further, we have just books put together. And then I cut out and glued the letters that spell out cooks, books, and corks. Again, really simple, really inexpensive, but it's a great, simple, fun decoration that really carries the theme all the way through. And so one thing that we are going to do, I have empty wine bottles. Okay. I clean them off. You just soak them in some warm water and like a little bit of soap. Sudsy, and sudsy. Sudsy, sudsy. That's a ribbon for you. Okay. We have our famous handy dandy little tape gun. We have a nice little logo, Cooks, Books, and Corks. You're okay. going to stick it on the front of your bottle. Oh, about where? Uh, about where? Yeah, just okay. well, imagine where it would be on a bottle. Okay, mine's a little crooked, sorry. That's fine. And then we have these great little contraptions. And you're and going what are these to. For? Battery operated. Battery operated LED lights. And okay. then you're just going to feed it through. Did I give you one? No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm an LED light hog. Okay, so you are feed it. Very sweepy. I okay. am. So feed it all the way through. Okay, so you're taking the wire and you're going. Just put it right, right inside. Down inside. Okay. Again, really simple, easy, great way to um, use your empty wine bottles at home, and then you can take a nice little simple ribbon, 
make a knot. This is fun. I went to a, to the a side. fall festival um, the other day. Well, I guess it was a summer festival. And uh, they were doing some fun things. This is so easy. It's Just so it. easy. Now, if it doesn't go, the wire doesn't go all the way down, I guess you could probably take a pen, like no. a handy dandy pen that I usually yeah, yeah, put yeah. in my hair. And just kind of like And the bottom of the cork will help push it through. Okay. And then once you have it all the way in, mm -hmm. flick the switch. And look, oh. it's magic. It's like fireflies. Romance. Yes. So really simple, easy. You can oh, also, so nice. you can also use just books, stack it, and that could be a really simple centerpiece. And I mean, you can take corks and you can make a slit inside of it and you can make place cards. I mean, there's a, a thousand different things that you can do. Really simple, fun, easy, but um, we really do hope that this event is a success. We're so happy that you are helping us talk about this event. And um, I don't know what else to say other Any than- book on your bookshelf? Oh, no, 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 no time okay. for that. I, I don't know, I see Shakespeare, all the plays from Shakespeare that he ever wrote. But okay. one thing I will say yes. is cheers to you, cheers to oh. this lovely event, and come out and support it. It'll be a great night. Clink, clink. <laughs>